what's up collective how you guys doing i hope all is well with you hope you all enjoyed your day hope you guys are having an even better night let's get into your nighttime tea this is a general reading meaning i'm picking up on multiple energies only take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there don't force it if it's not your message welcome back those of you that's returning and welcome if you are new and tapping in for the first time i'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me greatly appreciate you guys support shout outs to all the new subscribers thank you guys for subscribing thanks for the likes the comments the shares and the donations nothing goes unnoticed i greatly appreciate it all i greatly appreciate each and every one of you what's up y'all what's going on collective what's up what's up Ooh, say what say what say what yeah, ooh, girl, you know what's up. I was listening to that song on my way home. You know what's up by Donnell Jones. Y'all remember that song? That's a throwback. You know what's up by Donnell Jones. That is a throwback, honey. Spare, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective tonight? Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my divine collective tonight? What is it that they need to know? Allow me to see things clearly. This is for my collective. Ooh, we got the high priestess revealing itself. We'll see if that comes back out. And the sun card, the high priestess and the sun collective. Your intuition is on point during this time. I feel like you definitely are on point with a lot of things, okay? Um, you're showing up as someone that's gaining clarity about a situation. If you've been seeking any answers about certain things, I definitely feel like it's being made clear to you during this time. So that's good. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Spare, give me four more shuffles for my beautiful divine collective. What is it that you would like them to know? Allow me to see things accurately. Thank you for these messages. Thank you for shielding me, covering me, protecting me as I channel this energy. What's going on, collective? What's going on? Divine Collective, the Magician, and the Six of Wands. Your manifestations are coming in. I've been telling y'all this. Didn't I tell? I think I told y'all this like earlier or yesterday, right? I just told y'all this. But whatever you manifest in Collective, it is definitely coming in. It is definitely on the way, sugar. We got the Magician to the Six of Wands. You could be receiving some sort of good news here. Public praise, recognition, reward. Those of you that's content creators, I feel like right now... Your numbers are going up, so your likes, your shares, your views, your comments, everything is going up. Um, and those of you that work for somebody else, you could be getting a promotion, you could be getting a raise, an increase in your pay, an increase in your salary, right? I definitely see whatever you've been manifesting, it is here. Like, you feel victorious, you feel like you are really, um, you know, taking charge here and really doing your thing. Like, I, I'm really getting this energy where... You just feel like everything that you want is like rolling in. It's like you're so grateful as well. I feel like the divine wants to keep blessing you because of how grateful you are. All right. You're showing up as someone that's very grateful. I feel like this is making somebody restless though. Like somebody here is irritated by this. So here we go with the nonsense. <laughs> here we go with the BS collective. Here we go with the bullshit. Okay. I feel like. I feel like somebody's bothered by that. Like somebody here is restless about that. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody here that has strong Scorpio placements possibly. Somebody here want to cause an ending to your celebrations. This person is heartbroken by the fact that you're celebrating. Yeah, they're like furious here. Like this person's really upset. It could be a Sagittarius or a Scorpio or somebody with strong Sagittarius or Scorpio placements. This person is definitely gossiping, working together with other people here. Really fucking heartbroken, restless, and pissed the fuck off that everything is going your way. I mean, somebody here is like boiling. Like, I'm getting here that their blood is boiling. I don't know what's going on between you and this person collective or you and these people. Okay? What's the two of swords? Why is the two of swords here, Spirit? Yeah, it's multiple people here. It's definitely multiple people here. Three of Cups reversed. Uh, definitely gossip, too. Somebody here want to cause an ending or a delay to your celebrations. But it's like you just keep receiving. You just keep receiving, keep receiving. Ace of Pentacles here. And somebody here is like really, really pissed off about that. 
queen of swords reverse temperance reverse i mean somebody here is heated they talking shit they working together with a king of wands in a reverse somebody here really wants to put an end to your happiness or into your wish fulfillment somebody here it's like but every time they try to sneak and do something it's like it doesn't go as planned or it backfires it doesn't work out but this is because you're destined for whatever you're receiving. It's destined for you to be in this energy, in the Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Magician energy. This is faded. Yeah, and it's like you're not bothering anybody either. You're showing up as the Hermit. You could be a Virgo for some of you, or you could have strong Virgo placements. But the Hermit is somebody that is like introverted, stays to themselves, cool, calm, collected, you know. So you're just showing up as someone that's chilling. And I feel like this is why God is like really blessing you the way that he is. Not only are you chilling, minding your business, staying to yourself. It's like you're grateful. Yeah. And this is why you're manifesting the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, collective. You are so abundant. The Magician, the Six of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, God damn, let me hold something. Y'all know how to hit me with the donations. Let me hold something. Let me hold $20 to next Friday. Y'all stop playing. Because <laughs> it looked like you got a lot going on, collective. You looking very abundant, sugar. And with the Nine of Cups here, this is you being independent, satisfied, emotionally fulfilled on all levels, not looking for outside sources, people, places, or things to fulfill you. All the emotional fulfillment that you need is coming from within. You are showing up as someone that's gracious, okay? That high priestess did come back out, okay? You are showing up as the high priestess, honey. All right, someone that's very intuitive, very gifted, very tapped in. Some of you could also be getting an offer because of your gifts. So for some of you out there, especially if you do anything like me, like maybe you guys are readers or like I said, some of you uh, post public, some of you are content creators and things like that. Let's just say you're a reader or you're a messenger, or you're an oracle, or you make products, you, you have your online business, maybe you have your own uh, spiritual online boutique, something to that nature. It's something here that you're using your intuition, you're using your gifts um, to help others. Somebody here sees that, somebody here could be wanting to make you an offer, give you some sort of opportunity. Somebody here may want to actually work with you, okay? And this is going to bring in a lot of money collected. Like, I'm hearing that this is a life-changing opportunity. And somebody here that's going through an extreme tower moment is watching you and they're heated because whoever this is, they don't want you to receive this, okay? There may even be competition when it comes to, like, receiving whatever this is. But somebody here is watching and they don't want you to receive this. They don't want you to have this opportunity. They don't want you to be um, building this wealth here and being in this Ten of Pentacles energy. Like somebody here is watching that and they are furious, okay? This person could have maybe wanted it for themselves or this person may just feel like you shouldn't be the one that receives it. But you are. And not only are you receiving that, you have a King of Pentacles and an Emperor here. This could be the person coming in with the offer. And this could also be a love interest as well. For some of you, you're going to be getting biz a business opportunity and a a love offer at all at the same time somebody here may want to invest in you but they're also interested in you is what i'm getting this person is very interested in themselves this is somebody that's very mature this person may be a little bit older than you for some of you but he's showing up as the king of pentacles and the emperor okay this is a whole emperor out here on this table we love when the emperor come out in the upright right because when the emperor in the reverse come out that's when i get agitated y'all and that's when i'll be like Arr! that's when the reader take a take a left it take a turn for the worse right yeah this person is a boss okay god damn this person could be a virgo Taurus, or a capricorn they could also be an aries okay whoever this is the emperor the king of pentacles the hierophant i mean scrumptious okay big boss energy this is a leader he he knows some shit his damn self he could be gifted and intuitive as well this is somebody that's very smart okay wise beyond his years even if he's a little bit older than y'all because for some of y'all i'm getting this man might be a little bit older than you but that's okay ain't nothing wrong with that okay king of Pentacles, ain't nothing wrong with that y'all i don't know how y'all feel but shit ain't nothing wrong with that with me but we got the king ain't nothing wrong with that baby come on but we got the king of pentacles here the emperor and the hierophant okay yes this masculine is very intuitive very smart okay this is somebody that's a leader this is somebody that is really interested in you they holding you in high honor they have a lot of respect for you like emperor king of pentacles hyper where you at baby come on sugar we waiting we, we've been waiting for you 
We've been, I've been wanting to meet you, honey. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, we got the King of Pentacles here, the Emperor, and the Hierophant. Look at that. Look how he showed up, y'all. That's nice. And you showing up as the High Priestess. So it's like y'all a perfect match. If you going into business with this person, this shit is going to take the fuck off immediately. It's like y'all, like y'all ain't even going to have no slow season. If you are going into business with this person collected, that shit is going to take off immediately. Whatever this person wants to invest in or whatever they want to do for you or whatever they want you to do with them it's like that shit is going to take off immediately okay um and if this is just something that they want you to do you're going to do a damn good job at it you're going to make a lot of money you and this person are going to make a lot of money together um but you both are showing up as two leaders okay two leaders here the high priestess and hierophant so like i said this person is on point just like you they may have some sort of spiritual gifts as well but Whoever this is, is like y'all both are leaders, y'all both are go-getters, y'all are movers, y'all are shakers, y'all make shit pop, y'all make shit happen, okay? Y'all really make shit happen. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we like this. Come on, baby, let's make some money. And that's your justice, that's your karmic justice to receive this. We have the justice and the upright. This is like perfect timing. This is a gift from the divine. This person is a gift from God. You're going to be thanking God for this person coming into your life, child. It's just going to feel like a fucking big blessing, a big ass miracle. Uh, some of you may even be traveling, okay? Safe travels to those of you that's traveling. But with the six of swords, this is like you're sailing to calmer waters. This person is bringing you some sort of justice. They're bringing you some sort of peace, some sort of emotional fulfillment. They're bringing you clarity. It's like everything is just beautiful now that this person is in your life. Okay, who is this? Y'all gonna marry this person? Because it sounds like this motherfucker is a dream come true. That's what it sound like. It sound like he a dream come true, okay? I know a dream come true when I see one. <laughs> But we got the Knight of Swords in the reverse to the Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups reverse, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So there is definitely somebody here that could have been dealing with this King of Pentacles, this Emperor, and they may have been on, you know, they may not be on the best terms, okay? He could have blocked this person or stopped communicating with this person with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Um, maybe this is somebody that he was married to in a relationship with or dating, but they're not on the same accord here for whatever reason. He's showing up as the King of Pentacles in the upright, and she's showing up as the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This man is very uh, well off, is what I'm getting. Like, he's he well off, child. That's why I said for some of y'all, he want to invest in you because he can, okay? This, this, this man is well off. He's well established, okay? And he deems you as someone that's worthy, okay? He sees you as a wise investment, which is awesome. Now, moving, you know, aside from that, uh, it's like he was dealing with a queen of pentacles in the reverse. So he was dealing with somebody that he feels like is not on his level. Maybe someone that doesn't really understand him. He could have also looked at this woman as someone that was only in it for what they could get out of him. You know, maybe somebody that was just using him for financial reasons. Queen of pentacles in the reverse is a gold digger. I don't give a fuck what nobody's saying. It's a gold digger. And that's what I'm picking up on. This man could have viewed this woman as someone that wasn't even really with him for him like yo you wasn't even with me for me like you using me and you know i'm taking care of you all i'm holding shit down because i'm hearing that this man is like a provider that's what he likes to do he could be very traditional very old school so it's like he likes to provide for his woman so i just feel like he felt like he was dealing with somebody that was only with him for those reasons like yo you was only rocking with me because i was providing for you um you was only rocking with me for what i could you know for what you could get out of me this man actually feels betrayed by this woman this woman could have betrayed this man because he feels betrayed by this woman and she want him to come back she want to go back to him she want him to come back to her she wants to like reunite with this person but i don't feel like he's talking to her there's something here where there's no communication between these two there's no communication between uh, this emperor, this king of pentacles, and this queen of pentacles in reverse. And I feel like she's in heavy regret. She's really disappointed and upset about this, okay? Uh, she feels like this person wants to make some sort of offer to you. So, collective, I don't know how this woman know you. You know, y'all take it as it resonates. You guys know your situations way better than I will ever know. I'm just a messenger. But for some of you, this woman may have an idea of who you are. She may know exactly who you are. Or she may just um, feel like there's somebody else that has sparked, that has, you know, piqued his interest, if that makes sense. Like, she may not know exactly who you are, but she know, damn it, it's somebody. It got to be somebody. And then for others of you, she probably know exactly who you are for whatever reason. So, 
listen, she feels like this man wants to give you an offer, Ace of Cups here. Um, but he just feel like this woman didn't love him. You know, she's showing up as the Queen of Cups reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is definitely somebody that he did not feel connected to whatsoever. He felt like this woman was using him. He felt like this woman betrayed him. He felt like this woman didn't really love him. He could also felt like this woman was very emotionally manipulative. Like I said, she was only with him for what she could get out of him. It's like very um, conditional. This wasn't like unconditional love. He don't really feel appreciated. He don't feel respected, valued. He don't feel like like she treated him, you know, as, you know, the great man that he is. He felt like she's unworthy of him, plain and simple. And he feels like he could have some sort of equal give and take partnership with you. I'm telling you, this man is looking at you as a business partner, but he's also looking at you as someone that he's interested in, y'all. This man like you, okay? I think he like y'all, okay? He like y'all. He damn sure do. And it's like he don't want to deal with this woman anymore. He's viewing her as the empress in the reverse. Yeah, everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords. Yeah, he not really feeling her. She could be an air sign. She could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. She could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Shit, she could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Sagittarius. Because we have the Queen of Swords reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, the Empress reverse, and the Temperance reverse. So all of these cards is in the reverse. This woman could be an air sign, a water sign, an earth sign, um, a Sagittarius. Y'all just take it as it resonates, okay? But those are all the cards that we have here. Queen of Swords reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, the Empress reverse, the Temperance reverse. This woman is seeing stars right now because this man is not going to be provided for her no more. That's what the real issue is here. She mad because this man ain't trying to provide for her anymore or something like that. But like I said, he feels disrespected. She betrayed him. He feels betrayed by her in some way here. Um, this man felt like he foolishly invested and something that he shouldn't have. Yeah, he ready for a new beginning here. Um, he is showing up as someone that's very spiritually protected, so that's good. Uh, there's a King of Swords in the reverse here that could be hating on this man. There's a Queen of Wands in the reverse that's hating on this man. There could be an Aquarius that's hating on this man. This man got so many people, like, against him, collective. Like, what the fuck? This man is a big deal, honey. He got so many people that's like upset with him. I don't know if they all upset with him because they connected to this woman or if they just upset with him for their own personal reasons, you know, but this man got a lot of people upset with him, child, because <clears throat> they trying to hold on to him. It's something about this person coming towards you where a lot of people feel like they not going to be taken care of. So I don't know if this is like his karmic family members if this is this woman and her family or his friends that really ain't his friends they was just around for you know what they could get out of him too because it looks like all of these people are users i'm being serious like everybody is distorted everybody's in the reverse the only people that's in the upright is you collective with you showing up as the high priestess and a magician and a justice and then this person showing up as the emperor the hierophant and the king of pentacles you and this person are the only ones in the upright everybody else is in the reverse these could be people on your side this could be people on this man's side but i'm getting that this woman here is specifically connected to this man and he has broken free from this woman and she is pissed now these other people they could be people on your side that's mad with you and then these could be people on his side that's mad with him and like i said for some of you some of these people are connected to this woman but there's a queen of wands in the reverse a king of wands reverse this uh aquarius here there's like so many goddamn people mad and what's really the issue here is like they're they feel like they're losing out on something when it comes to him benefiting them when it when it comes to them benefiting off of him in some way. Him coming towards you or investing in you some way somehow makes them feel like he's not going to look out for them or he's not going to do for them anymore. And I don't know why that would be like, I don't really understand where this is getting, where this is going. But it's something here where these people feel like they're not going to be able to benefit off of him or something like that if he was to invest in you or come towards you. I don't know, collective. I don't know. Maybe because you a high priestess and you're going to let him know that ain't none of these people shit. But I feel like he already know ain't none of these people shit. Like, I'm like I'm just trying to put the pieces together. <laughs> but we got the will of fortune here. It looks like this is a faded event. This is destined to happen. This is something that's bound to happen. Um, This person also feels like it's fate is destined for you two to meet or it's destined for you two to come together in some way. They feel like this is like a part of their life purpose, like meeting you, seeing you. They feel like God brought you to them. Collective, you're going to feel like God brought this man to you. It's like something here where this is destined. This is fated. Like, can't nobody stop this. This is literally God's plan here in some way, some, some way, shape or form. This is God's plan. 
and this is a faded event occurring. And these people mad, y'all. <laughs> they gossiping. They talking about this shit. Motherfuckers are sending texts and emails and phone calls and all types of shit. Motherfuckers having secret meetings about this. Like, these people are mad because they feel like this person's going to be happy with you. You're going to be happy with them. Somebody here also nervous about you getting pregnant by this person. What the hell is going on? what the hell is going on there's a king of cups in the reverse that's mad because this person wanted to be with you but that means that they don't have a chance to be with you because this person is now in the picture it's a whole bunch of shit going on here somebody here this king of cups in the reverse is toxic as hell though whoever this is they just as toxic as this queen of cups in the reverse so this masculine got a feminine energy that's toxic that's trying to hold on to them and collective you got a masculine energy that's toxic behind the scenes that would that wanted to be with you but this person definitely know for a fact it ain't no chance for them i feel like they already knew it wasn't a chance for you too but they definitely know it's not a chance for you too because this man is in a picture and there's something here about this man being in a picture that you know it's like motherfuckers know just to just let it go at this point so i don't know what this man got going on with him but it's something about him where he carry a big stick if you know what i mean uh figuratively and literally okay like this man is not the one nor the two like it's something here where he ain't the one to be fucking played with and i feel like all these people know so they just gonna be mad but they ain't gonna really be i feel like somebody here just feel like they ain't got nothing they can't do nothing about it and it's just like okay well what you really mad for like let it go like i don't fucking understand this shit but this is a new beginning ace of wands here ten of cups this is family union partnership i'm telling you it's something here about business and love being a joint situation like this is like a joint thing i'm telling you this man may be an entrepreneur he may work for himself or he's just in a position where he can make shit happen for people. So, like I said, for some of you, this man want to give you a business opportunity or he wants to invest in you in some way. But it's also going to be some sort of romance here too, y'all. Some of y'all about to be mixing business with pleasure, child. But I'm here for it. I'm here for it, collective. <laughs> like, I'm here. I'm here for it. I'm just saying, I'm here for it. I don't know about y'all, but I'm definitely here for it. <laughs> Shit, sound like a plan to me. Let's make love and get money all at the same damn time. Let's get it, baby. Collective, I love this for y'all. Congratulations in advance. So congratulations to those of you that's already in this energy. This is already happening. And this is just your confirmation. But then for others of you, this hasn't actually happened yet. But it's about to. Yeah, we got Raphael Green. Okay, somebody's favorite color could be green. Okay. Yes, honey. Some of y'all could be born on the seventh of a month. You could be a Cancer, okay? Um, or you could be a Leo. This person could also be a Cancer or a Leo. Just take it as it resonates. Somebody here could have a seven-year-old. Could be a life path number seven. Some of you could be seeing angel number seven, seven, seven. But it says love, travel, human vitality. So yeah, you and this person are probably gonna be traveling together, making love all over the fucking world. Like it's really giving that energy, okay? But this person is funny or this person finds you funny. There's going to be a lot of laughter, um, just a lot of energy here. Like you're someone that's high energy. They feel like you have a lot of energy. Um, this person also feels like you make them feel like young. So like I said, this person might be a little bit older than y'all. But it's something here where this person feels like you bring out the kid in them or you bring out the best in them. Like you silly and they love that about you. This person, they need to laugh. They need to loosen up a little bit. <laughs> okay, this man needs to loosen up a little bit. But you definitely gonna bring the playful energy out of him so that's nice yes bring that playful energy out of this daddy okay because he is a daddy <laughs> he is definitely a king of pentacles an emperor the hierophant Ooh, you know what i'm saying loosen up his collar a little bit i feel like this man be having his shirt button to the top <laughs> you know what i'm saying loosen up that top button baby let's let it breathe a little bit let you let your neck breathe honey it's okay we're going to let our hair down. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, we got Divine Magic, number 19. Some of y'all could be born on the 19th of a month, or this person could be, take it as it resonates. Uh, some of you could be seeing um, 999, 919, okay? Some of you, <laughs> that's crazy. Some of y'all could be seeing 1010, okay? Um, somebody here could be born in October, so you could be a Libra or a Scorpio, this person could be. Uh, somebody here could be born on the 10th of a month. Some of you could be a Life Path number one, Life Path number nine. Um, but this is divine magic collective. Okay. It says wishes, goals, dreams, accomplishment. Yeah. It's like, you're going to be accomplishing a lot of your goals and dreams with this person. It's like you both bringing out the best in each other. I feel like this person going to be accomplishing shit with you and you're going to be accomplishing things with them. You're going to be feeling like your wildest dreams are coming true. You meeting your goals or your wishes are coming true. This is beautiful. Like, 
God really love you, okay? Because he bringing somebody in that's about to change your mother. When I tell you this person about to change your motherfucking life, collective, I don't think y'all understand. Whoever this reading is for, somebody here about to change your life. Like in a good way, a really, really good way. This person about to change your life. And I'm telling you, it's something here about y'all being funny. Okay, see the humor, 33. Somebody here could be 33 years old. Some of you have definitely mastered yourselves. Okay, master number 33. This person may be in some... You know, okay, y'all know where I was getting at with that. All right, if you know, you know. I ain't got nothing else to say, but we got levity, perspective, wisdom, and playful. I told you, you bringing out the playful energy in this person. This person bringing the playful energy out in you. You two may like to play cards, or this man like to play cards. Um, I also feel like this man is really, this man like your gifts. I told you, you was gifted. Some of y'all could be uh, tarot readers and shit like that. If you read tarot, if you read cards and shit like that, he liked that. You see this crystal ball? And these are actually um, like wis angel wisdom cards. So these are oracle cards and the, it's a crystal ball right here. It's like this man like what you do. So this man might want you to read his energy, child. He gonna be sitting across the table from you like, tell me my future, what you see for me, baby. Like it's something here where this man is fascinated by you and your gifts. And he just wants you to like read for him and shit. He wants you to tell him what's going to happen to him in the next three months. You know, he wants you to predict some shit for him. He like, go ahead, baby. Read my energy. Tell me. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what the Lord got for me. <laughs> and he like, all right, baby. Just sit down. Be quiet. Let me pick up on your energy. Okay, baby. <laughs> I love this. Ooh, collective. I love this message. Oh, yes. And he he liked that you he think you funny okay something about he like he likes your personality he thinks you're funny I also feel like you are gonna be thinking he funny like y'all gonna be laughing a lot I'm telling you I told you that earlier something here about y'all being playful yeah time to go shit this man gonna wanna child this man gonna wanna take you some places bitch I'll be you getting your passports ready okay because it says time to go 41 somebody here could be 41 years old somebody here could be born on the 14th of a month some of you could be a life path number four you could be seeing 444-333-777-999-919-414 okay you could be seeing a lot of fours a lot of ones a lot of sevens nines and threes but it says transformation completion confirmation and exit completion is that 10 10 told you some of you could be seeing 10 10 as well or 12 12 but something about this year, 12-12-2024, right? Yeah, 12-12, that's the 24, 2024. This was faded. This was destined to happen this year. This was already written. God said that this was destined to happen this year, 12-12-24, 2024. This was the year that this was destined. This is destined. This is faded. This is faded to happen. Um, but you're gonna, your life is going to transform with this person. And some of y'all going to be traveling with this person. You could be permanently relocating with this person. This is a blessing, okay? It says blessing in disguise, child. 16, blessing in disguise. Somebody here could be born on the 16th of a month, the 7th of a month, all right? But it says trust, revelation, significant surprise. This person could have had some sort of revelation about you. They trust in that what they feel in their heart is true. And this person got like some sort of surprise for you. You're going to be so surprised as well, collective. It's like surprise, confetti everywhere, bursting a balloon, confetti everywhere. Yeah, this is abundance out the ass. 13. Somebody here could be born on the 13th of a month, honey. Somebody here could be born on the 4th of a month, okay? Some of y'all could be seeing like a lot of fours, like I said, a lot of threes. Um, definitely angel number three, 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 four, 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 significant here too. Uh, somebody here could be a, a light path number four, but honey, faith, optimism, excitement, and breakthrough. Okay. This is something that you need to be excited about. Okay. This is something that you are going to be feeling like, oh my God, it's a, it's a breakthrough. Be optimistic about this collective. Okay. You're ready. Spirit said you're ready for this. 43. You've been prepared for this. This person's been prepared for you. Okay. 43. Somebody here could be 43 or 34. Okay. But it says you're ready. Momentum, validate, validation, encouragement, prepared. See, you've been prepared for this. You've been prepared. Okay. This person is definitely going to be encouraging you and shit. You're going to be encouraging them. This person going to be patting you on your back, slapping you on your ass. Good job, baby. Okay, good job, daddy. You know, rub you a little, you know, when nobody looking, I'm going to grab something, let you know how I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Now, I'm dead ass. That's how I be acting. I'm a hot mess. But yeah, okay. It's going to be a lot of validation, a lot of... um. So, uh, reassurance okay i feel like this person is going to reassure you of things okay 
um, words of encouragement, you know, words of affirmation, you know, baby, you're doing a good job, or you're incredible, or you too, you're incredible. I saw what you was doing out there. You're amazing, honey. Keep going. You're doing great, sweetie. You know, like, don't go any fucking, sh that corny shit. Yeah, y'all gonna be saying shit like that. And it's just like, you're gonna be this person's biggest cheerleader, and they're gonna be your biggest supporter, and I fucking love this. I love this collective. You deserve this shit, okay? Y'all deserve this. Spirit said y'all deserve this. You've been prepared. It is time. It is time for a motherfucker to come in and change your life, honey. You've been doing everything on your own for so long, okay? Some of y'all been doing everything on your own for so fucking long, you know? Like, me, I've been taking care of myself for a very long time. So, it'll be very nice to have somebody, you know, help me out. You know what I'm saying? Help a sister out. Help me out. You know, I don't like carrying all my bags all the goddamn time. It'll be nice to have somebody carry my bags. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? All right, Collective, this was your nighttime tea. I hope that this message definitely resonated with uh, most of you that watch it. If not all, it'd be nice if you took something from this, right? Um, hope it give you, I hope it gave you some sort of confirmation, clarity, or guidance. I love you guys oh so much. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Have a beautiful night. Peace. <laughs>